Now, you all know how you can create your own database inside the Python. You also understand how you can create your own table to store your data. Now, let me just show you how you can store your data inside that table. In the previous lecture, we understand how we can create a database. We simply imported SQLite module. Using the connect method, we created a database file and just create a connection object. Using connection object, we call the cursor to execute SQL queries. And using this cursor, I'm going to just execute a simple SQL query and create our table. Once I have the table, I'm going to just commit all the changes and close the file. Now keep in mind, you need to execute your query before this commit statement. Once we understand all these lines, let's just insert some values inside this database. As you know, we have two columns inside this sample table, ID and name. So I'm going to just store some data inside both these columns. So down here, I'm going to just create a simple query. In this example, I use this triple single code to add this string. You can put this string inside a string variable as well and then specify that variable inside this parenthesis. Let me show you how you can do that. So down here, I'm going to just create a simple query. I'm going to create a variable query is equal to and here inside the double code, I'm going to just create a SQL query command. So here I'm going to say insert into. If you want, you can put all these in the lowercase as well. That doesn't matter. I'm going to just put these commands in the capital letter only for understanding. Just out of that, just specify the table name. Here I'm going to specify the table name, sample. Here I have the sample table, so I'm going to specify sample here. Just out of that, you need to insert values inside these columns. So to insert values, you need to specify here a command, values. And to these values inside parentheses, you need to pass a value to this ID and to this name. So in the parentheses, I'm going to specify one. For the ID, specify comma and then specify value to the name column. So here I'm going to say in the single code, I'm going to specify daily tuition, just like this. So I'm going to just store this one inside this ID and daily tuition inside this name column. Here, I'm going to just simply call a command insert into and then specify where I want to insert data. I want to insert data inside this sample table. So I'm going to say here sample and to these columns, I'm going to specify different values. So as you can notice, I have two columns here. So I'm going to specify two values here. If you specify three values, then you're going to get an error message because you have only two columns. So once you have this SQL query, let's just execute it. So here I'm going to call cursor dot execute. And then I'm going to pass this query here. You can notice the difference between both these statements. Here I use the multi-line string to execute SQL query. And here I use a variable to execute SQL query. Let me just execute this file. When you execute your file, you're going to get this data inside your table. So once, so once you execute this file, this data is now inserted in this table. Once we have this data inside this table, so let me show you how we can fetch this data from this database table. So down here, I'm going to simply create a query. So here I'm going to say query one and specify equal to sign and say here, select star from sample. So I'm going to just say select all the columns from sample. So I'm going to just call this command and then execute it. To execute this command, just call cursor dot execute. And then I'm going to specify here query one. Once you execute this command, get the data from the cursor. So to get the data, just call the for loop. And here I'm going to say row in cursor fetch all. Then I'm going to call a method fetch all, specify colon. And here I'm going to say print row, just like this. Let me first execute this file and then I will explain this code one by one. When I execute this file, you can notice I have my data. So this statement is going to return all the data you have inside this sample table. Now let me just change this ID to two and this became Python. And now let me execute this file again. And when I execute this file, you can notice I have this data inserted in my database. Now, as I said earlier to insert data, I'm going to use the SQL command insert into sample and specify values to it. And inside values, I'm going to specify two values. These values is going to store inside this sample table. And to get all these values, I'm going to use select star from sample. So here I'm going to say select all the columns from sample table 
and return it. So this dead man is going to return different rows. In that rows, we have this data. So to get that data, we need to just use this for loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just execute this command and this command is going to return rows to this cursor. So I'm going to just get all the rows using this fetch all method. And I'm going to create here a variable row and print all the rows one by one using this for loop. If you try to print fetch all, you're going to get something like this. If I just say here print cursor dot fetch all, when I execute this file, you can notice I'm going to have the list as a result. And inside the list, you have your data. So I'm going to just get it off this print statement. And now when you execute your file, you have your data. You can access this data whenever you want. Now there are tons of SQL queries inside SQLite database. We're not going to learn all that in this course because SQLite is out of this course. But for now, I hope you understand how to create a database, how to create a table inside it, and how to store and fetch data from the database. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.